Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to add a floating search bar anywhere on your site. This floating search bar will allow visitors to quickly search your directory and be directed straight to the page with the directory itself. First, I'm going to click on Manage Directory to get to the settings for the directory. I'm going to select the Design tab and expand the floating search bar expander here. And click a button here to go to the separate search bar builder. The search bar builder might look daunting at first, but it's actually very simple to use. The first thing you need to decide is what things do you want your visitors, your site visitors, to search by. So in this case, I'm building a directory of fictional vegan cake suppliers. So first I'm going to decide whether I'm designing a search bar for desktop or mobile. Often it's important to have different looks that are optimized for each. With Community Box though, your search bar will, out of the box by default, come with settings that are appropriate for desktop and mobile. So again, you only really need to make changes to this if you want to fine tune the design. So in this case, for my fictional directory, I want people to be able to search by free text, where they can just type in any text and it will show. So I'm going to select free text, and I'm going to add that as a component. So I can see up here in the preview area, I can see the search bar being built up. And in a moment, I'll show you how you can uh, preview this on your actual website as well. Uh, I want the placeholder text to be search for cakes. And I can see in the preview here, the place where the text appears. I also want people to be able to search by location. So I'm going to add a large component. Again, I can see another box comes up here. I can uh, enter a different placeholder for that location. Dot, dot, dot. I also want a category dropdown. So this is simply a dropdown box where people can select from a category. Um, in the case of this directory, I only have one category type, which is industry, but uh, if you have multiple ones, you can select it here. So I'm going to select um, expertise. Maybe I feel that's a more appropriate term to use. And then finally, I want to add the actual button that's going to launch the search. So I'm going to click search button and add component. And here again, I can say what that should say, search. So I can see over here in the preview, it now says search. Destination is something that you fill in. So if you have the search bar on a different page, the page we have the directory, you'd enter the page with the, the full link for the page of the directory in here. Uh, but for now, I just want to show you how to get the search bar on uh, onto your site. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. So now that I've configured this search bar and I have the preview here, at least for desktop, first I scroll down to the bottom of the page and I click save to make sure that my work has been saved. Then I click copy. To copy the embed code onto the clipboard that I am going to paste onto my website. On the website, I decide where on the page I want the search bar to be. In this case, it's below uh, this text that I, I would like it to, to appear. So I'm going to add a block there. And I'm going to paste in the uh, code that I copied from the, from the community box dashboard. So I'm going to save. Now, of course, this doesn't look uh, quite how I intended. I would like it to be fully horizontal, so it'll look better. So I will, again, like most things in Community Box, Community Box will try to size itself to display as best it can with the width and height that it's constrained to. So in this case, because I want the search bar to stretch to make use of the full width of the page, I'm going to decrease the margins and make the container width wider. And here we get more of the look that I would like. Now this is a fully functioning search bar. Uh, it, it has all the information that is related to your directory and it'll just work. That's all that you need to do uh, to get your, your search bar. If you want to change things such as the, the color uh, of, of buttons or things like that, you can do that over in the search bar builder uh, by changing these properties. Now these properties come from what is known as CSS and it might be something that you're not familiar with or something that you're not comfortable with using. Um, hopefully the search bar as it uh, looks out of the box is going to do what you need. Um, but if not, then if you are a designer and your team knows CSS, then you can 
Uh, so I'm going to go in and fine tune the appearance of the search bar, uh, including colors uh, uh, and so on, uh, using the text in these boxes. And that's all there is to uh, embedding a search bar. You can add the search bar to any page on your site or to several pages. You can even add it to the same page as the directory itself if you prefer the look of this type of search bar to the one that comes with the uh, directory out of the box.